Hi there folks, Pat Kernan here on this rainy Thursday afternoon, bringing you a taste of what we're working on for Friday's edition of the Times Leader. First off, a man who pleaded guilty to a count of third degree murder was set to be sentenced on Thursday, but his sentencing was continued after he claimed he was coerced by his trial attorney into the guilty plea. Tremaine Jameson, uh, through his new attorney, Demetrius Fanick, filed a motion to withdraw that guilty plea, which was initially filed in the middle of his trial earlier this year. Jameson was accused of killing Devon Brown in 2017 over a dispute during a kindergartner's graduation celebration. In lighter news, reporter Mark Geidish was in Nanticoke earlier today covering a competition between grade schoolers who built Lego battle robots. What else would anyone want to do today? Uh, the event comes as part of a five-day-long day camp being put on by Luzerne County Community College. And Mary Therese Beeble has a piece about theater campers learning uh, about fight choreography in a program run by the Act Out Theater Group. It will culminate on Saturday with two performances of Disney's High School Musical 2 One Act Edition at the Slope Amphitheater in Pittston. And also remember that our TL Cares giveaway, it's still going on. The easiest way for you to participate is to become a subscriber, which you can do by giving us a call at 570-829-5000. Remember that it is $1,000 per week to the winner, plus an additional $1,000 to the charity of the winner's choice, plus a possible $25,000 grand prize at the end of it all to one lucky winner. And as always, if you are a subscriber, remember that you can access your e-edition online at any time. Just go to timesleader.com, click on the e-edition, enter in your password, and you'll be good to go. That is all for today, folks. We'll see you again tomorrow.